गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज योर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सॉल्व ऑल योर टेस्ट क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज सोल्यूशन ऑफ टेस्ट चैप्टर नंबर वन एंड सेकेंड होप यू ऑल गिट सॉल्व ऑल क्वेश्चन सो योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज एक्सप्रेस इन पी अपॉन क्यू फॉर्म सो फर्स्ट पार्ट इज जीरो पॉइंट एट बार दैन वी हैव टू पुट दिस क्वेश्चन इक्वल एक्स सो एक्स इक्वल एट बार मीन्स एट इज रिपीटिंग अगेन एंड अगेन सो फर्स्ट रूल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ओनली बार नंबर शुड बी प्रेजेंट ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ द डेसीमल सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज ओके विद अवर फर्स्ट रूल सो हाउ मेनी नंबर इज मल्टीप्लाई अंडर द बार वन सो वी शुड मल्टीप्लाई दिस विद वन नंबर ऑफ जीरो इट मीन्स टेन सो मल्टीप्लाई ऑन बोथ साइड बाय टेन इट इज टेन एक्स एंड देन वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू टेन दिस डेसीमल इज शिफ्ट वन प्लेस सो इट बिकम एट पॉइंट एट 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 एंड सो ऑन दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन नंबर टू now we subtract equation number 1 from equation number 2 it is 10 x minus x 10x minus x and then right hand side this part sub minus this part so 10x minus x is 9x so now students pay attention here after decimal we have infinitely many parts here and infinitely many parts here also so it they will they all subtract to each other and 8 minus 0 is 8 so x is equal and 9x and then 8 and then x is equal because 9 is present here in multiplication when we will shift to the other side it is um, present a division so x is equal to 8 upon 9 so 8.0.8 bar change in a rational number second question was x equal 0.2555 and so on here it is clearly visible only 5 is repeating infinitely many but 2 is not repeating it means here we have x is equal 0.25 bar but according to question law is only bar number is should be present on the right side of the decimal so we have to move or we have to shift this number to the left side so how many number is present here uh, without bar only one number is present here so we will multiply with one number of 0 it means 10 we will multiply on both side with 10 it is 10x it is 0.555 and so on so this is our equation number 1 most of the student get confused at this point and they think ki we already multiply the number and then we have to subtract these two terms no first of all this is our question according to the condition that only bar number is present on the right side of the decimal now how many number is present under the bar only one number so we should multiply with 10 when we multiply it with 10 on both side it become 100x and then this decimal is shift to right side of one place then it become 25.555 and so on this is our equation number 2 so same as your first part subtract equation number 1 from equation number 2 100x minus 10x then it become this part minus this part after decimal we have infinitely many fives here also infinitely many fives they subtract with each other and before decimal here we have 25 here we have 2 so 25 minus 2 is 23 90x is equal 23 and it become x is equal 23 upon 90 so this is your first question now second question was find the value of a and find the value of a in this question so it is clearly visible this question is a rationalization question because in this question uh, in denominator square root is present 
so first of all we will do rationalization in rationalization we know the rule we have to take this number to in multiplication and division as well with the opposite sign and which sign which is present in middle of the two terms so 7 minus 4 root 3 and 7 minus 4 root 3 now start multiplying I always taught you if we have two expression like this we have to multiply all these two terms very carefully so first of all we will take first term from the first expression and then multiply with the second expression then we will take for second term from the first expression with the sign and then multiply with the second term in denominator it is a plus b a minus b if you remember about the identity a minus b and a plus b is equal a square minus b square then 7 whole square and minus 4 root 3 whole square so multiply open this bracket 5 into 7 35 plus minus minus 5 4 is a 20 and then so first of all I always taught you first of all multiply sign plus minus minus then number 5 4 is a 20 and then root here we don't have any root so root 3 plus 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 7 2 is a 14 and then root 3 plus minus minus 4 2 is a 8 root 3 into root 3 is 3 again I am explaining this step first of all we have to multiply sign then numbers then roots so if we don't have any sign it means we have plus here so plus 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 5 7 is a 35 plus minus minus 5 4 is a 20 we don't have root here we have root here so root 3 then plus minus minus please pay attention here also plus 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 7 to the 14 and then root 3 plus minus minus 4 to the 8 root 3 into root 3 is 3 so now solve this 7 square is 49 4 root 3 square means 4 root 3 square means 4 root 3 multiply by itself again we have to multiply plus 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 4 4 the 16 root 3 into root 3 is 3 so it is 48 so this is your answer when we come so this is your answer when we compare this number 11 minus 6 root 3 with a given question a minus 6 root c so first term compare with the first term second term with sign compare with the second term so what is the value of a a is 11 now next question was simplify next question was simplify this number so first of all first step is this we have to do all these number uh, we have uh, to solve all these number with the prime factorization method in their lowest form so 9 we know it very well it is 3 into 3 so 3 square 27 it is 3 raised to the power 3 because it is 3 into 3 into 3 and here we don't have any change and we know our laws of exponent when two powers are there they should multiply each other they have to multiply so 2 multiply 1 upon 3 is 2 upon 3 3 multiply with minus 1 upon 2 is minus 3 by 2 now we have all base are same 3 3 3 3 and multiplication is there and one division is there it means these two powers add with each other these two powers add with each other and the result becomes subtract from each other so we have second method also we have to solve all these four terms together it is also possible it's your choice that you have to solve them together or separately so first of all these two terms add with each other so 2 upon 3 plus minus 3 upon 2 minus 3 upon 2 because negative sign is there I put this bracket because two mathematical operations are here this always you know it very well if division is there powers will be subtracted when will shift to the upper part so it is minus 1 upon 6 it is also minus 
because minus is already there we have to put this bracket i think you understand when powers uh, base is same and the powers are different and multiplication is there powers will be add like this part and if division is there powers will be subtracted so these two powers from the numerator part so they will subtract after opening this bracket we will take lcm and then solve it then it become 3 raised to the power minus 1 upon 3 it is your answer so i think hope you get this concept solve it properly so next question was by the remainder theorem find remainder when px divided by gx and determine gx is a factor of px or not so we have to do this question with the long division method gx divides px first is 4x cube so why uh, what number we should multiply 2x to get 4x3 i taught you uh, that uh, 2x multiply by what number that it gives 4 raised to the power 3 so we have to move this number because multiplication uh, multiplication is there to the other side like this it is 2 and then it is 2x square same here and then when we multiply it we will get 4x cube minus 1 then minus 2x cube we have to multiply this question to both the terms not single one so next step is sign changing plus change minus minus change in plus so plus minus minus 12 minus to 10 sign according to the bigger digit and then x square remaining question now we want minus x square so by what number we should multiply with 2x it is minus 5x then multiply with it minus 10x square multiply with minus 1 it is plus 5x it will cancel out after the sign changing plus minus minus 14 minus 5 is 9x then minus 3 remaining part now we want 9x so we have to multiply with 9 upon 2 and then this is our answer plus 3 upon 2 it means if remainder is there so gx is not a factor of px because remainder is not equal to 0 if remainder is equal to 0 then definitely gx is a factor of px next question was we have to expand two parts first part is this so it is a minus b whole cube we know the identity we have to apply identity here a minus b whole cube which is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b bracket a minus b we have only replace value of a with 4 value of b with 1 upon 3 x so put value of a b and replace in all terms and then solve it cubing and then multiply with both the numbers and um, pay attention here when we will multiply it with the first term it become negative when we will multiply with the second term minus minus plus hope you already solve this question it is very easy question so next part is minus x plus 2y minus 3z whole square now we know the identity with the whole square with a plus b plus c it is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac we have to only replace the value of a with minus x b with 2y c with minus 3z and replace and get your answer next question was next question factorize the following we have to convert the expression into their factors so if x square is there then definitely we know the maximum power or degree of the uh, polynomial is 2 so we have maximum number of the factors uh, is 2 so start with the middle term splitting multiply the coefficient of x square with the sign to the constant number it is minus 30 and the middle one is 
माइनस सेवन सो वी हैव टू टेक टू नंबर्स हुज मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज माइनस थर्टी हुज एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन इज माइनस सेवन सो माइनस टेन एंड प्लस थ्री आर दोज टू नंबर्स वी विल टेक माइनस टेन एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स सो टू एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस टेन एक्स प्लस थ्री और इन द प्लेसेज ऑफ माइनस सेवन एक्स एंड देन टेक कॉमन फ्रॉम दीज टू टर्म एज टू एक्स रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज एक्स माइनस फाइव इन दीज टू टर्म्स एज थ्री एक्स माइनस फाइव एक्स माइनस फाइव टेकिंग एज कॉमन द रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज टू एक्स प्लस थ्री दीज टू फैक्टर्स आर ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज ऑल्सो फैक्ट्राइज द फॉलोइंग सो दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव वन माइनस सिक्सटी फोर ए क्यू माइनस ट्वेल्व ए प्लस फोर्टी एट ए स्क्वेयर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम स्टूडेंट ऑलवेज आस्क मी देन हाउ दे रिकोगनाइज विच आइडेंटिटी इज फॉलो इन दिस क्वेश्चन सो आंसर इज यू हैव टू डू प्रैक्टिस विद द डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन देन यू ऑटोमेटिकली नो विच आइडेंटिटी इज फॉलो विद दिस क्वेश्चन सो अगेन इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव वन होल क्यूब इज हेयर वन नॉर्मल पावर वन इज हेयर एंड वन इज स्क्र इज देयर वन कॉन्स्टेंट नंबर इज ऑल्सो विजिबल हेयर इफ आई चेंज दिस नंबर एज वन क्यूब एंड दिस नंबर इज फोर ए क्यूब नाउ वी नो इट वेरी वेल इट इज ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब एंड हेयर वी हैव अदर टू टर्म्स सो वी नो इट वेरी वेल इट इज ए माइनस बी होल क्यूब विच इज इक्वल टू सो इट इज वन क्यूब माइनस फोर ए क्यूब इन द प्लेसेज ऑफ ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग दीज टू नंबर वी गेट दीज टू टर्म्स थ्री ए स्क्र बी प्लस थ्री ए बी स्क्र सो वी हैव टू रिप्लेस ए एंड बी विद वन एंड फोर ए क्यूब इफ आई मेड करेक्ट ए एंड बी देन डेफिनेटली आई गॉट माई आंसर सेम एज so put the values and let me check minus थ्री places of a is वन and b is फोर a after solving this and multiply this can I get minus ट्वेल्व a yes definitely I am getting this answer and in the second term it is फोर्टी एट ए स्क्वे सो क्लोज दिस इट इज ए माइनस बी होल क्यूब एंड फैक्ट्राइज दिस because cube is there it means they are multiply with each other three times so these are factors next question was question number 7 if px is equal x cube minus 4x plus 3 then find the value of p2 minus p1 p minus 1 plus p half so we have to put first the value separately and solve it so it is when we put p2 in this uh, question it is 2 whole cube minus 4 into 2 plus 3 it is 8 minus 8 plus 3 then answer is 3 it is p minus 1 it is minus 1 cube minus 4 minus 1 plus then it is minus 1 cube means minus because odd number is there so minus sign will be there plus minus minus plus 4 Plus three, then it is six. When we put half, half cube, four into half plus three. Half cube means one upon eight. Two cancel with two, it is minus two plus three. Then it is one upon eight plus one. We will take LCM and then solve it. Now we will put in the required question. We have to find the value of this. So P two is three minus P minus one is six. Then P one upon two is nine upon two. After taking LCM, we will get our answer. So, this is your answer. Eighth question was locate root ten on number line. So we have to follow first Pythagoras theorem for finding the root ten. We have to take perpendicular as one unit and base as three units. So one square is one, three square is nine. So the hypotenuse is root ten. Now after this we will take a number line and this is zero, one, two, three, four. They are equal distance. They should be equal. So base as three we have to take one perpendicular on it and multiply with the origin. It is root three. Sorry, it is root ten. It is root. 
टेन सो वी नो सो इट इज रूट टेन आई ऑलरेडी टॉट यू इट इज ओनली अ लाइन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस रूट टेन ऑन अ नंबर लाइन सो वी विल पुट आवर कंपस हेयर पेंसिल हेयर लाइक दिस एंड वी विल मार्क लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज आवर रूट टेन सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे यू हैव टू सॉल्व ऑल दीज करेक्शन इन योर नोटबुक चेक योर टेस्ट पेपर एंड डू करेक्शन पॉजिटिवली एंड ऑनेस्टली एंड ट्राई टू प्रैक्टिस मोर क्वेश्चंस टुडे यू हैव टू डू ऑल नेसेसरी करेक्शंस एंड यू हैव टू रीड सो डू करेक्शन इन टेस्ट एंड रीड चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट from tomorrow onwards your chapter number 6 which is lines and angles so you have to read the summary of lines and angles which is present in front of you exercise in your ncert 6.1 page number 89 to 93 you have to read these pages because summary is present here it is very easy you already know all these things all definition of angles are there so you have to read first take a um, idea which we are going in do in chapter number 6 so this is your homework thank you very much